So today we're gonna take a look at Blick liquid watercolors. Now I didn't purchase all of the liquid watercolors that they had available. I got 13 colors and I felt like these colors would be the most useful in my studio. Now I got the 2.5 ounce um, size when I could, but for colors that didn't come in 2.5 ounce, I did opt for the larger size. Um, and that would be eight ounces as a, oh, I'm sorry, four ounces. I don't know why I thought it was 2.5. Um, so it's available in four or eight. These are recommended for classroom use. Um, these do seem to be very much student grade, but I've heard other artists talking about liking them, using them. Um, so I thought it was worth trying. And um, for all 13 of them, I paid $39.66. And with shipping and handling, that made it $44.61. So that makes these some of the most economical liquid watercolors on the market if they work well. And the colors I got are metallic pearl. So this is an iridescent, and this may be a great option for iridescent mediums. And, oh, before I go too much further, when my package arrived, my yellow had... Um, spilled there was a tiny hole I patched it up with hot glue but it gotten all over everything um it was not well I mean my mailman kind of drop kicks everything that comes to the house anyway so it was not you know mailman proof in that instance now the colors I got are liquid pearl uh yellow green blue violet yellow orange blue green brown yellow turquoise, red, orange, green, magenta, and violet. So I got a pretty wide range of these. Um, and tonight I wanted to go ahead and swatch them. Now these do not come with a dropper. They come um, with a spout and um, I you do need to open them before first use. They are sealed unless your bottle explodes in transit and then it's not sealed. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this in time lapse and probably make a huge mess. These are staining, these are dye based, not pigment based. Um, now, if you get at them quick enough, the stain shouldn't become a permanent issue. But, you know, you do want to be careful. So since they don't come with a dropper, I'm going to use one of my own and just go ahead and swatch these the way I've been swatching my other liquid watercolors. I'm going to clean my dropper out pretty well. And then go ahead and use a water brush. Oh, what? That feels gummy as heck. It says it doesn't need to be diluted, but that feels really, really gummy. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys. That's not gonna be fun to field test. last one it's magenta and I wanted to show you guys something so these have a little foam stopper to prevent these from leaking in transit and if you'll allow me to pull out this foam stopper tends to shred rather than come off cleanly I've removed well that was the cleanest one I've gotten um usually uh, there was one where I've like peeled off seven layers um before I got it to fully come off Um, in general, I find these a little bit thicker in turn, more viscous would be a good word, than um, many of the other uh, liquid watercolors I have tested. So far, the colors are very vibrant. Of course, because these are dye-based, they're not going to be, um, you know, light resistant or light fast. They will fade in the sun. They're sort of like a step up um, from, say, Crayola watercolors, but they're still something that's not quite right with these, or they don't feel quite right. 
Um, but you know, the only way to really find out is by doing a field test and putting them through their paces. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.